This question says, if there is improper fusion of the maxillary prominences with the medial nasal prominences, imagine that these are the nasal prominences and imagine these are the maxillary prominences. Okay, so if there is improper fusion of the um, of the maxillary prominences with the nasal prominences during embryonic development, the likely consequence will be cleft lip, cleft palate, DeJord syndrome, coenile atresia, and pharyngeal fistula. This is too obvious that this is going to be cleft lip because that's how when this maxillary prominences uh, combined with the nasal prominences, that's how we have the philtrum, right? We have the formation of the proper lip when these prominences combine and they, they form the philtrum of the lip. So in this case, the answer is going to be cleft, cleft lip. Cleft lip and cleft palate, they form during sixth week of embryonic development. The first step is the fusion of the two medial nasal prominences to form the midline of the intermaxillary segment. So these two is going to first fuse together. In the adult, the midline intermaxillary se segment will become the will become the philtrum. So this portion is going to become the philtrum. And other than the philtrum, this part will also give rise to four medial maxillary teeth and primary palate. Okay, so this intermaxillary segment is going to give rise to philtrum, four medial maxillary teeth, and primary palate. The left and the right, the left and the right um, maxillary prominences then fuse to form the midline of the intermaxillary segment to form the upper lip. So this whole thing together is going to form the upper lip. If one of the maxillary prominences fails to fuse, then we have a unilateral cleft lip. Okay.